So we've been going over chemical reactions. Standard 5A states that in a chemical reaction, the reactant atoms and the molecules interact to form new products with new properties. So, chemical reactions happen all around us. They create new substances with new properties. Here's a few examples of some of these. Photosynthesis, in which plants use light to convert water and carbon dioxide into glucose and oxygen. Or decomposition, where large compounds are broken down to simpler ones, like what's happening in this little bin here with all these worms. Look at these worms here, and they're actually breaking down all this matter. Or the burning wood during a fire, where heat is being released as the wood is being slowly converted into carbon dioxide, water vapor, and carbon soot. Or rusting, where the iron and the steel is slowly being converted into iron oxide. All chemical reactions create new substances with new properties. They do this by either breaking bonds, making new bonds, or more often than not, a combination of both. So for our example today, we're going to basically be combining magnesium, which is a metal, and oxygen, a non-metal. These will be our reactants. Now, when they undergo a reaction, they're going to rearrange their bonds and create a new substance. This is our product, which will probably end up having new properties. So now we're going to actually look at the real reaction. We've been using magnesium here, which is obviously a metal, and oxygen, which is one of the non-metals. And when I combine the two, I'm going to be making a compound called magnesium oxide. And right here, I do have a piece of magnesium. You can actually look at some of the properties. As you can see, it's a metal. It's shiny. It's malleable. I can totally bend it. And ductile. That's why you got strung out in this nice little flat shape. It's probably very uh, conductive too, and very reactive. In fact, I'm going to react it with the oxygen in the room. And the products of oxygen are that it's a clear gas at room temperature. You can't see it. But once I react it, though, the properties will have changed. In fact, let's watch this. Put it here, it does get kind of hot. All right. And there it goes. Very bright. Now, if you look at it, though, you can see how the products have changed. It's actually a white powder substance. In fact, it's no longer malleable at all. It's actually quite brittle. You see, it just breaks right apart and flakes. It's magnesium oxide. So, there you have it. So let's go over this one more time. First of all, our reactants include magnesium, which is a shiny, malleable, reactive metal, and oxygen, which is a clear gas. Now, when these reactants undergo a chemical reaction, they produce a new product. Notice that the properties have now changed. This is now magnesium oxide, which is now a brittle white solid. So with all chemical reactions, we always produce a new substance, which ends up having new properties. This is the science of production.